Alright, what's going on everyone? This might not seem like much, but it's kind of exciting because we have actual burn on Arena and Explorer now. Monastery Swift Spear was reprinted, and in my opinion, this uh, completely changes how we look at Mono Red aggro decks in Explorer because now we can play more burn focused decks. So, if you're not familiar with this, 1 mana, 1, 2 haste, has prowess. Whenever we cast a non-creature, it gets plus 1, plus 1. We basically have two of these. This is also 1 mana, 1, 2 with prowess. And then we're just playing tons of burn, and our intention is actually to sling this at the opponent's face. Normally, when you think of red aggro, you think of creature-based decks, where you're basically only using burn to burn off blockers, and maybe use them to finish the game. But in this case, we are just actively looking to hit our opponent with them, usually. So we have play with fire, we have lightning strike, we have Royal Eruption at Sorcery Speed, but we're usually looking to play this first main phase to get the prowess triggers anyway, so Sorcery Speed doesn't matter. We also have Bone Crusher Giant, which has Stomp, which is a burn spell. We have Skewer the Critics, which is a burn spell. Also playing a single copy of Call in the Professional. Three mana, three damage. Players can't gain life, so we can use that in response to a life gain spell. We're also playing Runaway Steamkin. This is very... Very powerful. It's 2 mana 1-1, one, one, but it gets a plus 1 plus 1 counter every time we cast a spell. Can only have 3 counters total, but we can remove those counters to add 3 mana. So what we can usually do is get this up to a 4-4, four, four, remove them, and just play 3 more spells with the 3 mana. Something that can help us do that is Light Up the Stage, which um, is 3 mana, but it has Spectacle for 1, and it just gives us more gas to get more burn spells. And that's the general idea of the deck. We also have Risk Factor, which I love this card sometimes. I absolutely hate it other times. Right now, I kind of like it. Three mana, deals four damage, but the opponent can, instead, if they don't want to take the damage, let us draw three. So it's like good either way, but the opponent gets to decide, you know, what's best for them, which is usually not great. And these notably can be sacrificed to deal two damage. I should probably be playing, playing four of these. Should I be playing four of these? I think the answer is yes. We're just going to do this. Hang on, we're playing four of those. Just do that right now. There we go. So, uh, that's the deck. We're just looking to sling spells, burn spells. It's a little bit different than the, like, Annex, Embercleave aggro that we're used to. But is it good? Uh, I guess there's only one way to find out. I haven't played this yet. But I think it's gonna be good. Let's try it. I gotta save because I changed the lands. Right. It was almost disastrous, guys. I forgot to change my basics. I, I got it. We've, we've got the right basics now. By the way, I didn't mention this deck is very sort of cobbled together really quick. I don't know what the optimal build would be, and I haven't done any testing at all. This is just a, you know, a pile of good red burn spells that exist. On, well, hey, look, we got it. And we got the land that I changed. I, well, of course we did. Uh, Punta goes first, which is just disappointing. Oh, yeah, I saw these. These, these look pretty cool in game, actually. I put out a community post. These are free. Oh, it looks like we get a free win. They've mulliganed down to like five. Might be playing a combo deck or just... Uh, they mulliganed down to four. That is rough, especially since we're going fast. Attack for one. Yeah, I, I saw these. I, I haven't played with them, but they actually look pretty cool. They're free. They're free in the store. They might still be there. I don't know. They were there. Um, I think I'm going to play Runaway Steamkin this turn. Are there any flash creatures? Could this be Simic Flash? I mean, they're playing blue, green. Okay, make disappear. Fair enough. I mean, they're almost out of cards already. So next turn, we just burn the crap out of them. Hopefully we draw land. We could play lightning strike and skewer. Um, we do. I'll pay three life for this. Um, my life total is largely irrelevant. All right, so three. Get a prowess trigger. Could be like a bounce spell or something. Looks like control. Don't really know what the opponent's doing. And then we skewer for one. They go to 11. Unless there's another counter spell. Uh, they're looking at... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, fair enough. Alright, so they go to 10. Next turn... Th this is why haste is relevant. Next turn we can play this. Hit them for 3 and this will be... It has haste and prowess. Um, so this is looking like tempo... I really like Simic Tempo. I haven't played it. And for, I think the last time I played it was when I recorded with it. Um, so... Let's see if this resolves. I guess I'm a little bit doubtful that it will. It does. Alright, and then we will... Deal 3. Get a Prowess Trigger. Alright, if this connects, it's very good for us. Alright, they're down to 5. We have 6 burn damage. 
All right, spike field hazard. So let's deal three. Get a prowess trigger. Make disappear. Fine. So if I had one more land, I can deal one, bring them down to four, hit them for three. And I guess it's probably still worth it. Hit them for one. If I had one more land, I could have played Lightning Strike instead and just one. But next turn we can three damage hit them. If this gets countered, oh, we have one damage. Like we have one damage here. Okay, they just died. They 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 took one damage from the Java Micros. Yeah, we had lots of ways to win there. So that's a good start. All right, this hand is um a little bit heavy on lands, but it's fine. Punnett goes first. Have we gone first yet? I don't think so. Who needs to go first? This is a fancy land, though. Um, so we're definitely flooded here. Not great. We have this mana from these, and, uh... We really don't need it, but... That's fine. Opponent's playing, is it? Uh, let's... Attack for one? I'll attack first, and see if I need to... Like, if there's a flash creature, but there isn't, so I'll just play this. Sensor's fine. Steam Vent Shocking is great. So once again, I will attack first. See if there's a flash creature or whatever. Um, doesn't look like it. Try to play this again. Okay. Sure. Gains two. Alright, so now... I can play this first main phase. Go to combat, attack for one. Nothing. Burn spell. Get triggers. They have two mana. They could have a bounce spell. That's pretty good. But they take three, then take two. Sure. So next turn, we're probably playing light up the stage. We'll see, but... Good chance that's happening. Nothing. Alright, so we don't play the land if we're going to play this. Let's... Hit them for three. Get a prowess trigger. Let's attack for two. I could play this first main phase. Yeah, I'll just hit them for two. Alright, play this. Spectacle. Great. Um, I would have been way better to play it first main phase. Okay. Um, so... I'm not going to play Swift Spear. I'll save the Stomp. Stomp, end of turn. Sure. And then I can play Monastery Swift Spear next turn. I think that's the plan. Galvanic Iteration. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Okay, sure. They have six mana still. All right. Bone Crusher Giant. Yep. Deal two. They look tapped out. Remember, they have six mana over here. Sure. Another one. So, Swift Spear. Swift Spear. Three damage. Three Prowess Triggers. Attack for six. All right, nice. I thought this was gonna be like a settled record or something. The, the statistical probability would indicate that I would go first, right? No. I will keep this though. Um, yeah, this is fine. Opponent's playing aggro, so it's aggro v aggro. Too many lands. Uh, you usually don't want to draw like more than four. Three or four is like the max. Four is nice because I'm um, technically five is nice because we can start sacrificing these, but. That's a, that's just a, a flood mitigation tactic there. Um, I guess I'm taking two. I probably gotta kill with all use lieutenant, like, very much. So, I will do two damage here. I said in my intro that we're mostly slinging burn spells at our opponent's face, but I have been hitting creatures a whole lot. Hit, deal two. Lightning strike's fine, it's not a land, so that's nice. Attack for three. Great. 
uh, extraction specialist gets... Uh, I'll use Lieutenant back. That's very good. That lifelink is also very good. So I probably gotta kill... Both of those, right? And the problem is, is that I just can't. So... Let's... Do... Three here. I have to get rid of the lifelink. Attack for two. And possibly just do this here. I don't know if that was right. That that might have been incorrect. It feels incorrect. Hopeful in this shit, fine. Was, oh my god. <laughs> well, they've gotten three of those. Well, they've gotten two and they've recast one. And then we get another another land. Um Yeah, this feels just a little bit unwinnable. We got just a teensy bit flooded. We went second in the aggro v aggro matchup, which is usually not good. Yep, that's a uh, nine damage. Not lethal. Well I shouldn't have played the land. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. Um, so I can do... Holy crap, if I can win here, I don't think I... I, I don't think I can. But I sure can come pretty freaking close. Um, auto pay. I can bring them down to three. Close. Close. And they, they showed the reach of the deck. Oh my god, well we're just never gonna go first. That's just my life. Didn't I complain about this the last time I played Monterey Aggro? I did that speed ranking video. That speed, speed ranking series. Um, is this winnable at all? Going second against another... Uh, no, what? We're gonna, we're gonna do an experiment. We're, you win. Let's just see if we can go first with the burn. Oh my god. Okay, we get to see that this is... You no, know, this should happen 50% of the time. Is you go first and then you just absolutely steamroll people. We're gonna see if that holds true. Um, we're gonna take a turn off next turn play this. And then turn three, we can play both of these. Uh, play this, so it's untapped. Play this. Attack for one. So next turn we deal three to them. This costs one, we deal three to them. These will be bigger. They shock. That's good. For me. Um, that's Kind of fine. Um, do I even care about that? The answer is not that much. I think I'm going to deal three to them. Get some counters. Deal three to them. Get some, well, one counter. Yeah, you know what I mean. And attack for six. So they go to four. Great. They got four mana. They need a really good angel here. That's a pretty good angel. They shouldn't attack. Oh, that has vigilance. That's fine. I still drew another land. Well, that is annoying, isn't it? So what I do... Is I do two to them. Or this. Two here. I remove the counters. I use the mana to animate this. And then I attack. And now they can kill... Yeah, they, they lose no matter what. Nice! It's, see, it's pretty good when you go first. Alright, so what do I think of this deck? It's very good when you go first. It is pretty okay when you go second. I seem to win like half my games when I go second. And uh, significantly more of them when I go first. But either way, I think the deck's solid. Um, It is pretty budget. If we look at rarity... Um, these are the only rares. Risk Factor, probably not necessary. Bone Crusher Giant, you might have, because it's played in everything. Uh, Monastery Swift Spear is uncommon. All the burn spells are common and uncommon, right? So, it is a pretty budget-friendly deck. But, yeah, it, it does feel like it's very dependent on whether you go first or second. As to whether you are able to close out the game. Maybe with another set or two, this will be a little bit better. But yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.